So for those that weren't watching X Factor and don't know your story and don't know your personal struggle, can you kind of give us the couple of minute review of why this is such an amazing story and just you being here right now really is kind of a gift? It it is, definitely. Like For those who don't know what the X Factor is, they're like, they think it's some show where you eat bugs. You know? <laughs> like the X Factor is like American Idol. It's Simon Cowell's show, and it's incredible. I mean, the first season was crazy. I, uh, for me, it was like I've been singing my whole life, and since I was twelve, I mean, I've been I'm a musician. I've been making music from punk rock music to like hip hop to like soul. Like, so I've been making music forever. But like early on, I got caught up in drugs and alcohol. And for me, I couldn't stop. So, I, like, I became an alcoholic and an addict, and then um, learned learned how to stay away from it. Got clean for a few years, and then fell back into it. Um, basically, what happened for me was that this last time I got clean, and then I was like, "I'm gonna go on this show. I'm gonna go out here. I'm gonna go tell everybody who I am, what I'm about. I'm gonna go out there, and I'm I'm gonna not do a cover song like on shows like American Idol and X Factor and The Voice and they do cover songs. Everybody's like, let me do this song. Let me do some. I couldn't. Uh, so I had to do an original song because I did that. Like, what? It's like six months later. I, I got third place on the show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I got a record deal with L.A. Reid on Epic. And now my album, I'm finishing it up. And it'll be coming out soon. So wow. we got a single right now on the uh, radio on iTunes called Young Homie. That's the song I auditioned with. So it's crazy. Uh, there's a scene in the X Factor where... L.A. Reid says, I've got your back as long as you stay clean. Oh, yeah. Would would, would you have stayed clean if it wasn't for that? I didn't get clean for the X Factor. I got clean for myself and my kids. So X Factor really had nothing to do with it. L.A. Reid had nothing to do with it. It was going to happen None no matter what. None of them had anything to do with it. Yeah. It was that time I didn't get clean and sober to go, like, to you know what I mean? To go be on TV and do that. I mean, that was a part of what God wanted for me, so... I went and did it. Like, I got clean for me myself to live because I would be dead right now. 